En esta lección voy a leer una lectura que empieza con esta pregunta. Querido creyente, ¿por qué crees? Dear believer, why do you believe? Y lo hago porque considero que las preguntas que este autor hace son honestas y para nada ofensivas. Muchos de nosotros somos creyentes y defendemos nuestra fe, pero no está mal reflexionar sobre lo que este autor plantea. Dear believer, have you ever stopped to consider why you believe what you believe? Have you ever thought about why you chose the religion you chose? Why do you believe in Jesus Christ as the only means to eternal salvation and not in karma or reincarnation? Why do you believe that Allah is the one true God and Muhammad is his prophet and not in the four noble truths of the Buddha? Why do you hold to the Torah as the only revealed word of God and not the Bhagavad Gita? Dear believer, do you ever wonder why your heaven resembles a utopian earth and is composed of the same base elements found right here on this planet? Do you ever wonder why your deity governs within a power structure that resembles that of the specific time and place in which your holy text was written? Dear believer, is the faith you practice the dominant one within your culture? Do you not find it at least a little suspicious that the overwhelming majority of all religious believers adopt the religion of the society into which they were born? Yet remain convinced they've locked out into the one true faith. Does it not make you at least somewhat apprehensive that almost every person of faith chooses belief not because of its virtues, supporting evidence, moral codes, or expression of worship, but rather because it was what they were born into? Why? out of the abundance of faith choices available, does almost every believer on the planet choose the faith that's within arm's reach? Are you a Christian because you were born in America or Europe, a Muslim because you were born in Saudi Arabia or Indonesia, a Buddhist because you were born in Japan or China, a Hindu because you were born in India? Can it be that faith is, in almost every case, just an accident of geography? Do you sincerely believe that had you been born in another country, you'd undoubtedly still be practicing the same faith you now embrace? Dear believer, is the faith you practice that of your parents and their parents before them? Is it the first to which you were exposed? Did you know that nearly all religious devotees end up believing what they were taught to believe by their parents? Dear believer, I wonder if religions just are ancient constructs in which early humans attempted to both explain and control the chaotic world around them. Though irrational in content, their emergence certainly isn't. We do not blame our ancestors for inventing religion. There is no shame in stumbling when you are blind, or failing to properly construct a puzzle in the dark. But we no longer live in the dark. Science is ablaze in our world and illuminates our way, dissipating shadows and exposing even the deepest of crevices. 
We no longer live in the cave. We have crossed the valley, scaled the mountains, and have begun to make out the magnificent vista on the other side. We no longer require comforting stories to make us feel safe or valued. Is it not time that our beliefs match our discoveries? Is it not time that our ideas reflect our new perspective? There is equal, if not greater, awe in reality than there is in fantasy. Perhaps it is time to stop telling ourselves that we are the reason the universe was made that our culture is somehow better than other cultures, that our tribe was chosen over all other tribes. It is time to learn how the universe really is, even if that deflates our conceits, wounds our pride, humbles our point of view, and forces us to admit that we do not have all the answers.